Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is another small contribution to Cobra Convergence 3. I thought, uh, why not uh, open a vintage Cobra vehicle box? Uh, while I was at JoeCon, I just picked up a few random boxed vehicles. They were very inexpensive. Uh, it was a great way to get them. Um, and it looked like some of them were still sealed. Uh, sealed boxes. Uh, so uh, this is one of them. Now this looks like it's been resealed. It's been taped on both ends. Um, but I thought it would be fun to open this, open a vintage Cobra vehicle box. Um, and I don't know if the toy inside the box has been assembled or not. Uh, if it hasn't, then we will assemble it here on camera. We've done that a few times. It's been fun. Uh, I have my tools here uh, that I might need uh, if I'm going to put this vehicle together. Uh, if it's already assembled, we'll just take a quick look at it, and that'll be pretty cool, too. This is the Cobra Adder from 1988. Uh, this uh, would be the oldest uh, G.I. Joe vehicle that we've unboxed. Not the oldest that we've assembled. Uh, I assembled the 1988 uh, AGP uh, in a previous video, so this is from the same year, 1988. Uh, this is the Canadian release, and I believe this is the first Canadian box I've ever gotten. Um, it, uh, as you can probably see there, um, it's in both English and French. Um, as I've mentioned before, uh, G.I. Joe vehicles uh, released in the U.S. and in Canada um, are the same, but um, on G.I. Joe vehicles, uh, the Canada releases have, uh, instead of U.S. flags, they have Canadian flags, and instead of United States stickers, they have stickers that say Canada. Uh, for Cobra vehicles, though, since they don't have uh, country specific uh, stickers, uh, they should be the same. Uh, as far as I know, they should be identical inside the box to what we got in the US. So uh, I am going to open this. Uh, first, let me show you the box. Uh, two flag points, and their flag points were different from what we had in the US. Um, and uh, I have it's uh, sealed with uh, clear tape on both sides, and I'm pretty sure that's not how it was done at the factory, so I believe this is a resealed box. This is gonna be a surprise. I'm gonna open it up. I don't know if this thing has already been assembled. I don't know if it's still in the factory sealed bags. It um, doesn't rattle around too much, uh, so there's not a lot of loose parts in there, so there's some hope at least that uh, this thing has uh, not been assembled before. So I'm going to slice the tape uh, on one side um, and open this up and see what we've got. There it is. Opening this end here. And ooh, it does appear to... Oh no, no, it's not factory sealed. Uh, it's in a Ziploc bi uh, bag. Okay, so um, it, uh, it has been assembled and it has the stickers on here, so uh, not exactly an assembly video. Um, so I'm going to first make sure I didn't leave anything in the box. So there's the box. Um, uh, the parts are, um, are loose in the bag, though, so I'm going to go ahead and put this thing together and uh, just quickly show you uh, the 1988 Cobra Adder. Now, even though this was um, resealed, I, I cannot complain at all, and I'm not in the slightest disappointed uh, just because the prices uh, that I paid for uh, these boxed vehicles, um, they were uh, cheaper than I would have uh, paid for just uh, the vehicle itself uh, without the box. So um, I can't complain at all, really. It's um, uh, one of the great things about going to JoeCon um, is that um, you can pick up some things for uh, far, far less than you would pay on eBay. All right, I was just looking at it to figure out how to assemble it, and it looks like it's pretty easy. Um, uh, this bar here looks like it goes into this slot, um, and then we have a bar here at the back that uh, these C-clips seem to clamp onto, so let's see if I can carefully do that. So it, oh yeah, that's easy. Yes, perfect. Uh, the Adder is an extremely simple vehicle. Uh, it's basically this car uh, with a little raising uh, missile launcher and two missiles, um, and that's it. Single, uh, single person cockpit. I'll go ahead and put these missiles on everything um, already assembled, so I'm just kind of attaching the missiles. Um, I'd like to say thank you uh, again to everyone who came up to me 
and said hi to me at JoeCon. Uh, that was a thrill. It was far more than expected. And I want you guys to know that um, I care about you uh, and I listen to you. Uh, and you know, sometimes I get um, negative comments on my videos and sometimes uh, people get angry and they just unsubscribe and they're done with me, right? Uh, well, that can't bother me too much because I have you. Uh, and I have the fine people that came up to me uh, and uh, said that they enjoy what I do um, and got pictures with me and that is not something that I'm used to. Uh, doing these videos is kind of a solitary effort, right? I'm here in front of the camera um, kind of doing this all by myself, but uh, I put it out there for uh, people to see and I just, you know, hope that uh, some people like it. Um, so I don't normally get to see people who are actually watching the videos, but when I got to see you guys, uh, you were fantastic. Um, you were uh, so good to me, and uh, I'm, I'm so grateful. I will never forget that experience. Um, it was special. So thank you for making the last JoeCon uh, a very special event for me. On this adder, um, I noticed a reuse of stickers on the... the um, oh, you probably can't see that. On the control panel inside the cockpit. Let's see if I can move things out of the way. You still can't see it very well. But I believe that's the sticker that was used on the 1982 HAL heavy artillery laser uh, with uh, the airplane and the crosshairs. It was either that or the flak. I'll have to check. But that is definitely a sticker that's been used on another vehicle before. I don't want to get too much into what I think of the Cobra Adder. This is not a review. Uh, this is just uh, kind of a quick look at it. Uh, I wanted to take it out of the box so I could show you the Canadian box and show you the vehicle. The vehicle does appear to be complete, uh, which is expected. Uh, the dealer that I got this from, I've bought a lot of things from uh, at JoeCon, and they are always complete and unbroken, and uh, this looks about mint, about as mint as you can get. Uh, so, yeah, um, I'm happy to have this in my collection now. It's not one that I had gone after before. Uh, just because it's a very simple vehicle and um, I just didn't know. Uh, it, it hasn't been high on the priority list. But uh, now I have it, uh, thanks to uh, JoeCon, and uh, now you get to see it. So that's all for now. Uh, I hope you enjoy the Cobra Convergence videos that are coming up. Um, make sure you check out all of the channels uh, in the list so you don't miss any. Um, and I will have a Cobra Convergence review for you every week. And I'll try to do um, little things like this in the middle of the week uh, just so you'll have some extra Cobra content this month. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you for making this project so special um, and making this experience special for me. Uh, thank you to everyone and I'll see you in a few days with a full Cobra toy review. And until then remember only Cobra is Cobra.